Hi everyone and welcome to this knowledge clip on theories of international migration and this time I will introduce uh, behavioralist approaches to international migration. So if you watched maybe the knowledge clip or if you read about neoclassical theory then you know that many migration theories start from the idea that individuals act rationally, right? That they make an economic decision as to why to move to a certain location because they can have uh, a job uh, somewhere in another country because they have higher wages available in that country. But behavioralist approaches um, do take a different approach. So they indicate, okay, true, this focus on individuals is very interesting and is uh, what explains international migration because it's an individual that decides to move away to a country and makes that um, decision. But they actually say that it's not only uh, econ the economy or economic considerations that people make when they move. So they make many different things that they throw together in the mix to move. For example, they might move to another country because they have relatives over there, um, because they uh, like the weather, for example. So there's many different things that can come uh, together. And so in that sense, it is very different because they do focus more uh, instead of economic rationality on the psychological reasons of people to move to a certain location and they also focus on why people choose a particular location and why do they move let's say from um, the Netherlands towards Denmark and not from the Netherlands towards uh, Finland. That could be one of the things that behavioralists uh, focus upon. Eh? So why that specific particular destination what explains the decision-making process. And uh, so what they say basically is that instead of considering international migration decisions as something very rational, guided by economic considerations, it's the irrationality in many migration decisions, if you look from it from this economic perspective, that makes it very interesting uh, to study, right? So people, very often if you think from an economic viewpoint, make irrational decisions. Think about if I would move from Belgium, where I live, um, towards uh, Greece, for example, from an economic perspective, that might be considered rather irrational compared to moving from Belgium to Norway, eh, where the salaries very likely are much higher. Eh, so that is what behavioralists are interested in. Why do people then eh, choose these destinations uh, where apparently from an economic viewpoint, there's not a lot to gain. And then we have um, Julian Wolpert specifically, who worked a lot on this uh, behavioralist approach to international migration. And he indicated that people can experience certain degrees of stress in an immigration country. That can be because of um, the economic situation, that can be because of uh, the family situation, that can be because of the, uh, your uh, uh, minority, for example, that is being uh, discriminated, or because of your uh, sexual orientation. So there's many different things that can play a role here. And there's a certain degree of stress that everybody experiences. But there's a certain threshold in uh, distress and if you pass that threshold then you make the decision to move abroad. But then people do not generally move to whatever location, no. Julian Wolpert indicated that people tend to go to a place where they can have highest utility. So he introduced the concept of place utility which simply means that people move to a place where they can satisfy their needs. Imagine that you move away from the Netherlands because you think, well, it's horribly raining the whole, the whole time uh, in the Netherlands, so I move to Spain, then probably Spain or also Italy or any southern European country around the Mediterranean Sea might be a very interesting option, right? Because then the place utility is higher compared to where you would think about Bergen, the city in Europe where we have most rain on a yearly basis, uh, that would not be uh, very logical. The place utility of Bergen is very low, place utility of Valencia, um, Malaga um, or um, uh, Calabria, for example, would be much higher. And so what they indicate generally, the behavioralist, is that people 
are not economic maximizers. People do not tend to move only for economic reasons. That's not to say that economic considerations do not play a role, but they generally do not aim to move to the place where they can, they can earn most money. No, they search for a place where they can have highest satisfaction. So they are satisficers rather than maximizers. So that is, um, in a very nutshell, what behavioralist approaches on international migration uh, tell us about the decision-making process. So they move away from this economic uh, determinism, broadening up a little bit the picture of potential uh, reasons why people move. Thank you very much for watching this knowledge clip.